my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. As you may be able to tell by now, breakfast recipes are definitely my favorite to create. And for today's video, I wanted to bring you some really quick and easy breakfast recipes that you can prepare ahead of time and then take on your way out the door to school or work. So today I'm going to be sharing three different recipes with you. One is a coconut, vanilla and passion fruit chia pudding. The other a banana and walnut breakfast muffin. And the third being a oat based granola. So yeah, if those are of interest to you, then definitely keep on watching and we will get straight into the recipes. I hope you enjoyed this one. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So for the chia pudding, we are starting with three quarters of a cup of chia seeds, as well as one and a half cups of a plant milk of your choice. I personally love coconut milk. I then added in two tablespoons of my favorite vanilla bean coconut yogurt by Koyo, as well as the pulp of two passion fruits. Then I added in a splash of vanilla. You could add as much as you desire. And then I mixed this all together very well until it had this beautiful texture, as you can see. Then I put this in the fridge for a couple of hours, but you can leave it overnight if you would like to. Once it was all done, I would just eat it like this on a typical day. However, I made it look nice and pretty for you guys today with some more coconut yogurt, chia seeds and passion fruit on top. Now for my favorite recipe, which is for some banana and walnut muffins. And I'm first of all starting by making a flax egg. I use these in most of my baking to replace where an egg traditionally would be in a recipe. And you simply just use one tablespoon of flax meal and three tablespoons of water, mix it together and set to the side. Then I'm putting three bananas into a bowl and mashing them all together. I am aware these are not the most ripe bananas, but they were still nice and sweet. Then in a big mixing bowl, I'm first of all starting with one cup of buckwheat flour. Then I'm also adding in one cup of almond meal. I love this combo for gluten-free baking. I then added in some pink Himalayan salt, then mix that together. Then I added in my mashed bananas as well as the flax egg I had set to the side. I added in half a cup of maple syrup as well as one cup of almond milk. You could use another plant milk if you like. When I'd mixed this together, I realized I forgot a couple of things, which were some baking powder and some vanilla. So I quickly added these in and then mixed that all together nice and thoroughly. Then I got three handfuls of walnuts. You could add more or less depending on uh, how much you like walnuts, pretty much. I chopped them roughly and then added them to my mixture before mixing it all together. Then I got my muffin tray all ready by first of all preparing it with some olive oil on top. I just drizzle this and then I use one of these little brushes to coat it nice and well. And then I filled the pans with the muffin mixture before baking it for 25 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Once the muffins were all done, I put them onto a cooling rack like so. I used to be so impatient with this kind of thing, but I have realized over time it's always important to let these things cool. Once they were done, you can see they were a really beautiful and fluffy texture and I enjoyed them very much. Next, we are moving on to a homemade oat and nut butter granola. And we are first starting with one cup of oats, followed by half a cup of quinoa puffs, half a cup of rice bran, one quarter cup of sunflower kernels, one quarter cup of cacao nibs, two tablespoons of flax meal and some Himalayan pink salt. I then added in some roasted hazelnuts as well and mixed this all together. After this, I then added in the whole jar of this spread. This spread, by the way, is phenomenal. It is an almond, Brazil nut and cashew nut butter, as well as some maple syrup. And then I mixed this all together. Then I put this into a lined baking tray and pressed it all down so it was nice and firm and it would bake 
nice and well. Then I put this into the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Once it was all out, as you can see, I just crumbled it with my hands like so, topped it with some fresh fruit. I used some oranges and passion fruit for this. And then I also added in some coconut milk. Personally, I find this a super easy thing to just pack away like so, take to school or to work with a spoon on top, of course. And that concludes my on the go breakfast recipes video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon for another one and have a beautiful day.